apocalyptic images if humans disappear from planet Earth. As the end of the year is coming, I wanted to share with you the best photographs I took in the last 10 years in places where abandoned places are reclaimed by nature. I have always been amazed by how Mother Nature has a way of making herself known even in the most surprising of places despite our efforts. Nature doesn't need much space to thrive, give it an inch, and it will grow a mile? What could happen for our planet to look like it does in these pictures in a few decades is also really interesting. What would happen if mankind suddenly disappeared from the face of the Earth? Imagining the answer has fascinated people since the dawn of time and the answers vary as our society changes and evolves. As we are facing many challenges today, pandemic, deforestation, pollution, global warming, armed conflicts, luxuria reminds us as a memento mori of what could be our world tomorrow. In this series of photographs, I invite you to travel with me through this post-apocalyptic world of your imagination. There are several developing theories for what could drive humanity to extinction, and it is unlikely that we'd all simply disappear in an instant. Nevertheless, imagining our sudden and complete eradication from the planet perhaps by an as-yet undiscovered, human-specific virus, Weismann said is the most powerful way to explore what could occur if humans left the planet. With all this fresh new habitat opening up, nature would stoically march in, pasting over the formerly concrete jungle with grasslands, shrubbery, and dense stands of trees. That would cause the accumulation of dry organic material, such as leaves and twigs providing the perfect fodder for fires sparked by lightning, which would go roaring through the maze of buildings and streets, potentially raising whole parts of cities to the ground. Fires are going to create a lot of charred material that will fall to the street which is going to be terrific for nurturing biological life. The streets will convert to little grasslands and forests growing up within 500 years, as Weismann tells it. Over hundreds of years, as buildings are subjected to sustained damage from erosion and fire, they would degrade, he said. The first to topple would be modern glass and metal structures that would shatter and rust. But tellingly, buildings that will last the longest are the ones made out of the earth itself like stone structures, Wessie Mann added, even those would become a softened version of their former selves, eventually the defined, iconic skylines we know so well today would be no more.